Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, my name is Desan, and in this video, I am just gonna briefly go over the annoyances in the new uh, Borderlands 2 DLC, Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt, and it's primarily the Witch Doctors. The Witch Doctors are, for lack of a better word, dangerous. Um, there's three of them that I know of so far. I haven't got very far into the game, into this particular DLC. Um, there's the witch, doc uh, the paralyzing witch doctor, the devil witch doctor, and then the chupacabra. <clears throat> they all have one unique ability to them, and then they all share uh, two other abilities. Well, they're kind of, it's the same ability, but I, I kind of think of it as a separate ability for whatever reason. Um, their individual abil abilities v vary from, like the devil one has a spinning Tasmanian devil style ability. I mean, that's the best way to explain it. it. turns into a flaming hurricane and goes up and down everywhere. It doesn't really do much. Just avoid it. The paralyzing one. The paralyzing witch doctor second most annoying. Um, he has a kind of like an electrical attack that if it hits you, it will slow you as you're trying to get away. And he also has a singularity event which will drag you to it. Now, third most annoying, actually the most annoying, is the Chupacabra, which I don't have footage of at the moment. The Chupacabra one um, has like two abilities, which is odd. Um, it can turn into flying bats. And while it's in this bat form, I don't seem to be able to hit it very well. And then the other ability it has is this red laser. It seems to shoot out. Now, this particular laser does not obey line of sight. And if you're around a corner, if he's hitting with you, if he's hitting you with it, as you're trying to go around a corner to avoid it, it's still going to hit you. But I digress. The other abilities that all witch doctors carry is the ability to level up and heal whatever NPCs are around them. Now, they usually, they usually carry, they usually walk around in packs of two or three NPCs along with the witch doctor, and they have an ability to level up you know, the characters, and they go as high as 55, although I've seen some cap at like 53, and the Witch Doctor's still trying to level them up, and it just doesn't do anything. And obviously, as they're getting leveled up, like the Goliath, they get a nice damage increase, but what seems to be kind of odd, maybe it's just uh, a glitch with the DLC, um, their health doesn't qu increase quite as much as their damage does, so you'll see them do a lot of damage but not be able to take a lot of damage so if you got a you know high out high damage output with a particular weapon it's still going to be fairly effective against them um and also their loot drops don't seem to be very good like not very good at all and until i see a video that shows me that you can get something good out of kiting around uh level 55 enemies from witch doctors i would recommend just outright killing the witch doctors don't even worry about trying to kite them around because you can kite them around all day, let them get to level 55, and you can probably consistently get some iridium, a blue, and some cash. I think in this video I might get an epic or two, but they're just not very good. They're not worth the effort to invest in all that. They don't have very good stats on them. So my advice to you if you're thinking about farming them is that... If you want to farm them, farm them, but don't expect to get a lot of good stuff. And until I see the video that shows that I can get really good stuff out of them, I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't do it. So I, that that's my advice. Or better yet, if you're still listening to this video, write in the comments. Let me know what I can get off of that and let me know that it's worth it. Because honestly, as far as I know, it's not. So if you know something that I don't, let me know in the comments, I'll read them, I'll respond, and I'll give it a shot. But until then, laters.